Hi, I'm Simon, Simon Marshall, and I'm a senior partner at Action Coach. So over this series of presentations, I've been sharing with you the things that myself and fellow coaches have learned from coaching over 20,000 businesses a week globally, and how you can use this valuable information to ensure the opening of your business is a success. So, so far in these videos, I've talked about the importance of a positive mindset, and I've also covered steps one to six. So they are re-educate and prepare, rebuild your team, renew with deals of the day, reopening announcements, redo your celebrations, and rerun your numbers. Now, if you haven't seen those videos yet, then check them out before you watch this one. Because today, I'm going to cover Rethink Your Marketing and Sales. So look, this is where we need to spend a fair bit of time. This is what will make or break your business. The marketing mediums you use and the message you communicate has shifted. A full new marketing plan is needed to determine what do you need to be doing now and what do you need to be doing in the future. You need to do a new SWOT analysis. That's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Because the reason you need to do that is because everything's changed. Your competitors are different. You're different. Purchasing is different. Your customers might be different. So what you need to be thinking about and doing is reviewing your competitors. What are they doing? What's their pricing? Has their pricing changed? What are their offers? What's on their website? What are they communicating on their website? Look at your customers' buying habits. These will have changed. Lockdown has changed the number of things that we do. So think about how you can pivot to meet the changes that we've seen. What do you need to purchase? What do you need to produce in the new norm? Help and educate your customers more on the benefits of using you. So think of WIIFN. That's what's in it for me. And when I say that, I mean what's in it for the customer. Your message should be more around education and not price. Not that I would ever advocate or recommend that you focus on price anyway. Focus more on community, health, and focus on education, educating them why they need your product or service. Also, think about being thankful and gratitude. Understand your market and what works. Keep up to date on a regular basis. It could change daily. Your, your marketing message in the past would last for a reasonable amount of time. It could last months, if not years, but not now. You need to update it on a regular basis because things will be changing on a regular basis. Remember that people are still in fear and worry. Give them the comfort to buy. But also, what are people excited about? What are they looking forward to? Market around this. But test and measure different marketing messages and platforms. So for instance, Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn are all relatively low cost. Make sure your marketing messages are meaningful. You'll need to generate 
more steps in your sales process. That's more steps to, to, to make people feel comfortable that they're making the right buying decisions. It may, your, your, your sales press process may be longer and it may take people longer to make a decision and to buy. Look, use, use video, particularly testimonials. The more real they are, the better they are. Do them differently, mix them up. You need to get videos from your customers. Now look, pause this video now and think about 10 customers you can ask by the end of this week to do video testimonials for you. Right, pause it now. Right, okay, have you done that? Great, okay. Use new technology to educate people how to buy. Your, your sales process needs to be customer centric. Ask your customers questions. Help them. Help them to buy. Help them, uh, help them to buy with, with sympathy, with uh, empathy, with compassion. The days of the pushy salesperson were dead well before we went into lockdown and they're certainly and most definitely dead now. Train your salespeople and marketing people in customer service and in the new ways of doing things. Look, we've, we've, we've leapfrogged between five to 10 years in a matter of months. So we need to get used to the new environment. Use questionnaires for customers to, to get their feedback or, or use feedback cards to ensure that you are achieving the safety levels your customers are seeking. And ask them what they want from your business, what, what, what services do they want, what products do they want, how can you help them, how can you help them buy? Hey look, lose the pushy salesperson technique and replace it with empathy and sympathy for customers. Finally, Build a database and build relationships with your customers. And these will be the people that you'll be doing business with in the future. Okay, so look, just to, just to recap, and look, look, before I do, let's look at the quote here from Brad Sugars, who was the founder of Action Coach. The world has changed. People's motivations and decision making has changed. And so should your marketing message and sales strategy. Okay, so look, the key things here. Help and educate more with benefits. Okay, remember fear and worry will be around for some time. More steps in your sales process because it may take people longer to buy more video, especially testimonials. Make sure that your sales process is customer centric and ask them what's important for them. And finally, build a database and long-term relationships. So that's rethink your marketing and sales. So next time, I'm gonna cover rethink everybody. Okay, so that's rethink everybody. So uh, come back and join me for that. Bye for now.